everybody, this is Danny from Deep South Homestead. Today we have a block and tackle system here that was sent to us. It is called, I have the man's card right here, it's called a Nifty Lift. This thing is supposed to be able to lift up to 700 pounds. Now guys, uh, it's, I'm not doubting the gentleman at all, but uh, it's kind of small cord, but I do understand the, the the block and tackle system of every time you rotate and come back, it gives you strength, and I, and I do get that. The only thing I'm a little concerned about is the uh, the plastic lock on the side of it up there. I don't know if it's going to actually hold. Uh, I guess we'll find out in a minute. I don't actually know the weight of this log cylinder part right here. I'm sure it's not over 200 pounds, or 250 maybe, somewhere in that area. And this thing's supposed to be able to lift 700. I know for a fact my whole log, waiter, uh, log splitter shipping weight wasn't but 400 and something pounds. So if I did the trailer, the motor, and everything, it, it shouldn't be a problem for this lift. Uh, one thing I've already figured out real quick, you go to, you go to pull this thing up, don't wrap your hand around it because it's, uh, it's going to cut into your hand. So. You're going to have to have a piece of wood, like a 2 before or something other, to actually come in here and you're going to have to wrap it around it. Now, I'm being honest, we have not picked this thing up yet. So we are about to see uh, if this will actually pick this up or not. Now, if I get jerked up off the ground, you know, I guess I have guests here that's going to get a laugh, but... Um, I'm going to actually just see if it will uh, if it will do it. Is it locked? It locked. It locked. It's sitting there. Okay. Hang on a minute. Um, that's a little harder to pull than it looks like. Yeah. Take a little off. Somebody ain't got no ump. Yeah. Maybe, maybe just me. Oh, there comes our musical instruments. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> do you think that's high enough or do we need to uh, Probably a little higher. Yeah, a little higher. Okay. Hey guys, hang in there with me. We're we're working on it here. Now I'm, I'm using a fireman's knot right here when I do this so that I don't have to worry about it slipping. So I'll unlock it. Don't be under. That's all I can see. Okay. All right, sir, with the nifty lift system, I I can't. I can't say anything negative about it because it is the, the, the little plastic lock is holding, the whole system's holding. It looks like uh, it looks like it will work. So, uh, guys, if you want to if you want a block and tackle system, that's a good little system. This is all aluminum, uh, nice bearings in it. I looked at that. Good clevis system. Everything looks like it's made out of good material. The cord is definitely strong enough. Uh, but you will need something to wrap around it to be able to lift it up. One thing let me mention here, this is made in the United States and it's made by our elder, our older veterans. And that's one reason that we're really interested in doing this review is to kind of help them out a little bit and to tell you that they're making a quality piece of equipment. If you want to order one of these, there will be a link in the description down below uh, so you can actually order one of them. And I'm going to tell you, I believe they're worth the money. Now, I don't know how much it costs. Um, but I'm telling you, I think it's probably worth the money because it comes in its own little handy carrying case. Comes in a little bag to put it all in. Nice and neat, clean little system. Support our veterans, guys, and order you one of these if you need one of these to pick up. If you're a deer hunter, whatever. Uh, if, you, if you travel a backpack out into the back country, this stuff would be great for picking an elk up or a bear or anything like it, a mule deer or something. Just and a good all-around hoist system. So thank y'all from Deep South Homestead. Yeah, I guess we just put it right up under it here and let's just kind of mm -hmm. ease it down on it. Okay. 
Okay guys, when you go to undo one of these things, you want to always make sure that you undo it from low because what's going to happen is when I release that brake, this board is going to go up. If you have your board up there already and you release it, it's already there. I mean, it's going to snatch you up off the ground. So what I'm going to do is try to run, I'm going to try to release it and let it down and let Patrick put the bolt in it. guys the nifty lift definitely handled the job I'm very impressed I mean it's it's a fantastic little piece of equipment to have without that we would have it'd been rough it'd been rough <laughs> it would have been rough I'm not gonna lie